guys a station tour of Cave Look up there. Those are the Blanton Towers that send TV signals to homes that rely on antennas. Many homes use cable or satellite, but these towers have been here since the 1950s. Let's go inside and meet my mom. She works at Cave Hi everyone, let me introduce you to my mom. She's the morning anchor here at Cave My name is Sean Quayer. That's right, I'm the morning anchor. And Douglas, are you ready to show everyone the ins and outs of a station? Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's go on a station tour. Douglas, down this hallway, this is where we have human resources right here. They help with new hires, employees, and important information about your health information too, right? Over here is our Community Affairs, they help with important fundraisers as well as programs such as the Can Do Fundraiser, right? That raises food for people in need right here in our community. Let's go upstairs right now. We're gonna meet people up in sales and also promotions. Okay, so we're gonna go up here and we're gonna turn this way. Keep on going, just keep on going. Hi, I'm Douglas Long from the Oregon Trail Council and today we're doing a tour. Can you tell us about your job? Hi Douglas, I'm Mike Turner. I am the promotion manager here at KVAL and KMTR. Basically my job is to oversee all the promotions, uh, TV, radio, uh, uh, online. Sean is back and now on KVAL. It is so good to be back at the anchor desk here at KVAL. This is family. We are so excited to have you right back here at home on KVAL. Sean Cuellar is back mornings 5 and 6 on KVAL. That was awesome. It was nice meeting you, Mr. Turner. Douglas, some of the other jobs up here. You have sales, also promotions. Look at all the gear needed to run a TV station. These cameras, this is what promotions and commercials use. You can see also here the microphones, also over here the light kits, as well as tripods. Douglas, this is the newsroom. This is the news hub right here, as you can see. There are so many desks right here. We have different jobs, anchors, reporters, Photographers, producers, assignment editor, the web team, plus a news director, and you can't forget sports and the weather team. Everyone has a role to get the news on the air and online. Did you know KVAL News has seven different newscasts daily? That's Monday through Friday. Whoa, that's a lot of news. Can we talk to someone about what they do here? Sure. Hi, Mr. Rick. My name is Douglas. Can you tell me about what you do here at KVAL? Well, I manage the reporters and producers along with what they do for assignments during the day and also our live coverage. Cool. Douglas, it may not seem that busy right now in the newsroom. That's because our photographers, our reporters, they're out in the field getting stories. You know, what are the big stories of the day? I want to introduce you right now to one of our producers. This is Miss Marcella. She's in charge of stacking the show. Hi, Miss Marcella. Hi. What does it mean to be a producer for Kava? So basically I come in, I write the show, I stack the show, and I also create graphics. And once all that's done, I go into the booth and that's where the show finally airs. Now it's show time. Let's take everyone into the news studio. Wow, check out the KVAL news set. This is a KVAL weather set. And Douglas, this here is the news set. Pay attention to the cameras. You see those over there? Mm -hmm. The anchor reads the teleprompter. The words magically move across the screen. Actually, the teleprompter operator operates the words, or I can move them with this little device here. And remember, all those words, they're written by the reporter or the producer. There are multiple cameras to show the set from different perspectives. This is the green screen used by weather. Maps and radar are projected onto the screen. Look what happens without lights or graphics. They're essential for putting on a colorful newscast. So how does all of this get sent to people's homes? Let's take everyone to the control booth. Get everyone's hard work on the air and in your homes requires one more step. Come on. In this room are three key players. The director, 
the technical director, and the audience. Hi, my name is Douglas. Can you tell me about your job and how you get the newscast on the air? Hi Douglas, my name's Joe. See all these buttons here? Mm -hmm. This is what a te te technical director does. It pushes all these buttons and each one of these buttons, I don't know if you can see it up there, changes what's on the screen up there. It changes to the different cameras, changes to different video, stuff like that. That's what the technical director does. Douglas, working in a newsroom, it's exciting. Every single day, I feel like I'm running a marathon while working toward this shared goal. It's the newscast. It's informing our viewers about important events, the breaking news. And let me tell you, it's exciting because every single day, we really don't know what the news is going to be. It's going to be the big story of the day, the breaking news. Maybe it's COVID-19. Remember the wildfires this summer? Well, right now, we are in election season. So what's the next big story? Yeah, I don't know yet. That's the exciting part of working in the newsroom. You don't know, you just have to go out there and find the story. I guess that's why it's called the news. Exactly. Thanks mom for showing us around your news studio and letting us talk to all the awesome people you work with at KVAL. This is Douglas reporting from the KVAL News Studio, reminding you to do your best be prepared and lead the adventure. Thanks for watching. <laughs>